This week, we're going to look at a couple of takeaway options that you can get easily, both healthy and unhealthy takeaway meals that are 100% plant-based. So it is simple to just grab a relaxing takeaway and not worry about your health, the planet, or harming any animals to do it. So stick around. This is Plant Your Life, the channel dedicated to helping you eat more plants without diverging from your normal diet, helping you to reach your goals of improving your health, reducing your eco footprint, or maybe eating with a clear conscience, or all three, because you will. Now, before we get started, how did you go with the croissant or the cake? Did you make one? Are you a baker? If you are, then share the photos on Instagram with the hashtag plant based challenge. Maybe you found a good bakery that makes vegan products near you. If you did, you pioneer you. You hit that like button to show you care. And please share in the comments so it is easier for those following in your footsteps to discover how easy it is to get off that animal teat. Now, on to the takeaway. Sometimes you are busy and you need to get a takeaway, whether it is for lunch or dinner or it's, it, it's just part of our busy lives, right? In fact, some of us only eat takeaway food. Some are more diligent cooks and make everything at home. That is our house, to be honest, but we still do get a takeaway occasionally. My favorite is Indian. It is really easy to get plant-based Indian food options, and it is already delicious. As Indians are mostly vegetarian, at least often they don't have a choice. In the slums of Mumbai, for example, they still manage to work like horses dragging those carts around for years on end on a few measly calories from the cheap legumes and beans that they eat. So you can imagine what a Westerner like you can achieve with that. Now I highly recommend the following dishes. They might have a different name uh, in your local Indian place, but it's worth checking out the ones that are sort of based on these ingredients. So the subs biryani is a delicious rice dish, it has great spices, usually cauliflower. The kum hari mata is a mushroom based dish. The makai palak sabzi is a spinach and sweet corn based dish. The chana rasili is chickpeas cooked in an amazing sauce. And of course, where would you be in Indian land without the dal? This is lentils cooked with all different sauces. They're all cooked with delicious and different spices. And it's amazing for your diversity of food and your gut health goes along with that. So definitely check out the Indian options. Now the great thing about Indian is that it's pretty healthy too. I'm sure they might put too much salt, which is always a problem with food you don't cook for yourself because you can't control it. But other than that, it is delicious. And for a takeaway, it's pretty good. If you eat it vegan, you also avoid the usual saturated fat intensive ghee that Indians often use. Now, on the other hand, you can now get so many tasty takeaways from the Beyond Burger at Burger King to the vegan chick un at KFC. These are not super healthy, but in comparison to the meat equivalent, they're much better for you, the planet that you call home, and the animals that we share it with. Now, speaking of nutritional info, at, at this point, I'm going to compare the typical Burger King burger with the vegan counterpart. So you kind of get a true comparison of these unhealthy options. You can see on this table, the protein in is 31 grams for the Whopper, but it's only 24 for the plant-based version. On the other hand, the fat content is a whopping 35 grams, 9.5 of which is saturated fat. In comparison to just 27 grams in the plant-based version, of which only five of those grams are saturated. Now, carbs are about the same. And I have to say they're all probably simple. They don't actually detail this. There might be some complex carbs in the plant-based version, 
which is why it might be a little bit higher. So you can see, although not great, the plant-based version is slightly healthier. So this week, if you are keeping up with the challenge, you are going to hit 19 meals a week that are plant-based. That is 90% of your meals. You have come so far. Well done. And that is it for this week. Thanks for the early like. That really helps the channel and spreads the word. If you are new here, you might consider subscribing or check out the series introduction on this video over here. Or you can visit plantyourlife.fun where you can start over and get an email every week absolutely for free and start the series from the beginning to take it one little bite at a time. And if you know someone who wants to increase their plant intake, then share this video or the series with them. Now, over to you. Share below what is your favourite plant-based takeaway and share with me which one works for you and your neighbours. What have you tried? Maybe you've fallen off the plant-based wagon this week. What is stopping you? Share in the comments below and I'll try and help you to get off that wagon and reduce your meat, fish and dairy intake. I'll see you later. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.